guys it is your boy will back with another video today and in this video i will be talking about two penny stocks okay now before i talk about the penny stocks never put more than one percent of your portfolio in any penny stock okay just in case it dumps hard like this move right here it won't hurt your portfolio at all okay so the first penny stock that i'll be talking about is Excella Technologies, probably saying that wrong, ticker symbol XELA. So I'll be giving you guys some analysts on this stock and some key levels I'm looking to buy, um, a buying level, a resistance level, and also some support levels that I see on the stock. And then the second one will be ticker symbol D-A-R-E, DARE, DARE Bioscience stock, okay? I'll be giving you guys key analysts on this stock as well and also on some levels I am looking to buy. So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any updates. I do post every day around 5 to 6 p.m. Central Time, so you always know when to come back to look for a video. Now, it had its first leg right here, right? The first leg came down. This is what you want to see to produce that second leg, okay? Here is the second leg. We are currently in that second leg, right? So I think the high... Without looking at the pre-market and aftermarket, the actual high was $3.11. We went higher than that um, today, okay? So that's very key. Now, since we did go higher than that today, I do see a current buying level, but there's also a resistance level. So the first resistance level that I see is around 350. Let's put that on here. So this is the first level that I see for resistance around 350. And once it gets up here, I do expect some selling pressure. So before it gets to here, because I actually want this to be my exit target, I want it to come down first to around the buying level. Okay. So I don't want it to I don't want it to hit this just yet. Now if it hits this first, then I'll probably have a new buying level. But for right now, as long as this stays intact and it comes down, that would be way better. It did close around 329 and it's currently down after hours, which is good. That is what we want to see. So resistance level around 350 and that's also an exit target. Now, the level that I am looking to buy is around two. Let's see. I would say is around 220. It actually almost hit it today, but it did not hit it. Okay. And I wasn't watching it, which is good. So I'm glad it didn't hit today. So it came down a little bit then shot up right what what percentage was this over 40 percent that's good so i do want it to come down tomorrow i want it to come down at least below 240 okay below 240 is when i'll actually start looking at it so actually let me put an alert at 240 so i don't miss it so if you're in a buy and sell signals um i will alert this once I start seeing that buying pressure. So around below 240, I'll be start looking to buy, but around this 220 level is when I'll actually uh, start looking to buy for the buying pressure, okay? So 220 will alert me to start looking at the stock, and then around this buying level is when I'll actually start looking to buy the stock, okay? And then around that um, exit level should be percentage, around 58% return on this penny stock. OK, so that's a good return. I will hold for that uh, remainder of the percentage. Usually I like to get out around 10 percent or so, but I'll actually hold for this um, play right there. OK, so that's a potential play that I see in ticker symbol XELA. Now, next, let's talk about DARE, DARE Bioscience. Now, make sure you guys join the buy and sell signals for options and shares. Yes, it is for both. So make sure you join that. The link is down below and is pinned in the comments. Make sure you join the stock market options crash course. You can use code WILL50OFF to get $50 off the crash course. Very informative videos. And I will be uploading some new option videos for you guys this week. Okay, now that I'm back in town, I'll be having some more time to upload those for you. So make sure you check out the stock market options crash course. Use WILL50OFF. $50 off and also join the YouTube memberships. It's the first link in the description and it's also pinned in the comments. Um, it's about $4 a month. If you just like the videos that I make for you guys and you like the key levels that I give you guys every day in the market, go ahead and check that out as well. Now on Dare Bioscience, ticker symbol D-A-R-E, this is a penny stock as well. So try not to put more than 1% in this one. Resistance level. Now, resistance level is a little harder to see on this stock than the first stock that we talked about, 
but I was expecting some sell-off at around 234 at around here I was expecting some sell-off so I was watching how it opened up today if you go down to the five minute opened up today and clearly resisted right there okay so that was the first thing that I was watching so let's go back to the 30 minute okay so that's the first level that I was watching on this penny stock now resistance level new resistance level is around 225 this is the new resistance level that I'm watching on this stock. It will also be an exit target um, if I see buying pressure at the buying level. So that's the first resistance level and exit target. Next, what you want to see, I was also watching around 180 for buying pressure, which should have that today. Around 180, it came down. Buying pressure, but overall was a little weaker and came down. Now it is down a little bit after hours. But we do want it to come down just a little more. And I want it to come down to around, let's see. I would say around 165 is where I'll be looking. Where's 165? Right here. This is where I'll be looking to actually get in on the stock if we see that buying pressure. Okay, we always wait for that buying confirmation because sometimes it can come down here, show a little fake movement like this. And then come down afterwards right so you always need that confirmation at that buying level first before you start trying to buy the stock okay well this penny stock so that's why i say you want to make sure you're in the buy and sell signals because i will send that signal if i see that buying pressure there okay but if i don't see it then i won't be buying it so from this entry to that exit is around 36 percent gain so there is a bigger percentage gain on the first penny stock we talked about but this is also a good percentage gain also okay about 35 percent and i will hold for this as well i won't exit at 10 percent or anything like that i'll hold for that remainder of that 36 percent play uh yeah this this was an old buying level so we'll remove this and this is the potential play that i see on this penny stock okay now again with the penny stocks play them very carefully okay the only thing about this penny stock that's different, the runs are a little smaller. So it had a run, it stalled out, had another run right here, pulled back, and had a bigger run. Okay, so the harder the pullback, I think it might have a bigger run. So if it does pull back hard down here, I think it could have one of these bigger runs than this little small run right here. Okay, but it does seem that it's having those runs right now. So we can get in if we see that buying pressure here again. Okay, so make sure you always remember not this recommendation of buyers or anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.